Hey, good morning friends and today's video what we are going to discuss is fuzzy logic controller uh, so first of all we have to understand what fuzzy logic controller is uh, basically fuzzy theory what we have studied till yet fuzzy theory can be applied in many applications like we can say fuzzy reasoning is there fuzzy clustering is there fuzzy programming is there out of them fuzzy reasoning this specific term we uh, it is also called fuzzy logic controller Okay, they are very flexible set of if then rules. Like in general programming, we specify some if then rule. If this happens, then do this. If this happens, then do this. If this happens, then do this. Same in fuzzy reasoning. We generally apply some specific if then rules. Okay, and they are basically a flexible set of if then rules. And the solution that we get using that if then rules is then applied to appropriate membership function and we get a specific result out of them. Okay, so this is basically what fuzzy logic controller. We have to understand why we need fuzzy logic controller. That is very important to know. So there are specific situations where exact mathematical formulation of the problem is not available. You will generally find a lot of uh, such problems in which you cannot give some exact mathematical formulation for that one. Or if there is, it will be very difficult to use. In that case, we normally find out some middle way and uh, uh, your fuzzy logic controller is one of that way by which we can normally find out some uh, better way to to solve some specific problems which is not generally possible using exact mathematical formulations for that okay so in that case what we do we normally uh, solve this kind of uh, problems by using a fuzzy system uh, so that we can get accurate result right let us see how fuzzy logic controller work or what is the structure of that FLC. Okay. First of all, we have inputs. Generally, whenever we are having a problem in our hard computing, in normally um, computation process, we all know that uh, we have to give some input to the computers. Okay. Same in case of machines or in case of any other problem, we have to give inputs to the system. Right. The input are very important. Once we send some input, because it is a fuzzy logic controller, it will convert that crisp input into fuzzy input. Right. So. All the inputs that have been received by the system will first be converted into fuzzy terms, into fuzzy inputs. And the module that will perform this task will be called fuzzification. Right? After fuzzification or after conversion of inputs into crisp inputs, into fuzzy inputs, they will be sent to the inference system. That inference system will fetch some rules according to the inputs. If this specific thing is there, then do this. Right? So suppose we have, we are going to make a controller for washing machine as per the, the total amount of dirt in a specific cloth, right? So in that case, it will find out some rules like if dirt is heavy, then do this. If dirt is less, then do this. If there is no dirt, then do this. Accordingly, according to the amount of dirt, the machine can perform some specific action. Right, so that will be the task of inference system or inference engine. Okay, after inferencing, the output will be sent to the defuzzification module because you all know that if we have given the crisp input, we have to return crisp output to the outsider to the system. Right, so we have converted the crisp input to the fuzzy one and then we apply some inference and rules on that one we have given some fuzzy output that fuzzy output will be converted to the crisp output through the defuzzification module and that will be our exact output that we want okay the approaches that we use with uh, this fuzzy logic controller is mamdani approach and takagi sukeno approach there are two specific approach out of them mamdani approach is easier to implement because it's used linguistic variables linguistic variable means as i have been told you that suppose we are talking about the amount of dirt on clothes then in that case the dirt could be in uh, could be represented in linguistic terms as uh, very much dirt less dirt uh, very very dirty or you can say uh, no dirty and so on okay so this could be the linguistic variable for say same for uh, Truth, we have some linguistic variables like very true, true, completely true, not very true, untrue and so on. So these are the linguistic variables by which we represent different values. Out of them, Takagi Sugeno approach follows precise fuzzy modeling. 
it is more numerical but compared to mamdani approach it provide better results but if we talk about easiness then we can say that mamdani approach is much better to implement now very important thing that what are the steps for computing the output in fis okay there are five specific steps that we have to remember right you have to remember these five terms because you are going to implement them in a particular uh, real life problem then the first step is identify the input and output you must have to know what input you are sending to the system and what output you are deserving you are desiring basically so what are those inputs and what are those outputs you have to find out the desired the descriptor for that one in terms of linguistic variables like again if dirt is input then in that case dirty very dirty less dirty very very dirty and so on these are basically the linguistic variable for that for input okay so if you are uh, the output as the speed of machine you can say very fast less fast very very fast and so on this could be a linguistic variable for output okay then we will have to define the membership function for each of the inputs and output if you have three inputs then all the three inputs you will define some uh, membership function for them if you have two linguistic variables for output then you will define membership function for those also okay and in third case you will define you will form a rule based the if then rule if uh, cloth is very dirty then do this if cloth is less dirty then do this and so on so that will be the rule based that you will define and then you will evaluate the rule accordingly that what should be the exact output according to the rule you will perform some evaluation over that one and finally once you will get the decision you will have to convert it into crisp output and that will be called defalsification so identify input output define membership function for them form a rule base evaluate the rule and then defalsify them these are the five specific steps that you have to cut okay up in upcoming video what we will do we will take an example on mamdani approach same as uh, the washing machine the uh, as per the terms as per the amount of dirt on cloth what should be uh, the basic speed of washing machine or what washing machine is going to do or how we are going to perform you can say a logic controller on that one that will be our uh, that will be an exercise on that one that we will discuss in upcoming video so guys till then please like and share it thank you very much